Hello, this has been Zeref, and this is a video showing you how to use my plugin, Spellcraft. Um, I apologize in advance for my crappy microphone. There's not much I can do about it. I don't own a better one, so sorry about that. Anyway, on the topic of Spellcraft, the first thing to do when you're using Spellcraft is to build an altar. Using an altar, you can sacrifice blocks to get spells. If you use slash Spellcraft, you can see what spells you currently have. There's also mana, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. As you can see, all of my spells are currently none, and there's four types. Block targeting, self-targeting, short-range entity targeting, and long-range entity targeting. In order to set my spells, I need to build an altar like I just said. Now, altars have to face in the right direction, to figure out uh, which is west. To figure out which way is west, you can just look at the clouds. As you can see, they're drifting that way, so that's west. Another way to check is, if you press F3, under X, Y, and Z is F. As I turn around, F changes. When F is 1, I'm facing the right way. So, the base of an altar is just a 3x5 stone, smooth stone base. Next layer is the same thing, but without the three in the middle. Then, on the west side, the back, I place three gold blocks, one diamond block on each end, and three iron blocks on top. Then you can place items. Oops. Then you can place blocks in here and sacrifice them. To sacrifice, you need to stand three blocks back from the middle. You don't actually need a block here, but it helps show where to stand. Anyway, first I'll show you Fireball, which is a block targeting spell. To get Fireball, you sacrifice one netherrack. So you place it in there. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's in there. Stand on here. And say, sacrifice. spells no fireball. Anyway, block targeting spells are normally casted with a stick or else a blaze rod. Either one works. The more powerful ones like explosion require that you use a blaze rod. You cannot use a stick. But, and fireball is not actually one of those. It does not, you can use a stick to cast it. But I'm going to use a blaze rod because that's what I have. If I were in survival mode, this would cost mana, but... And the pig is dead. As you can see, that is the reason why it is not one of the ones that requires a blaze rod. spell is self-targeting. It doesn't matter which order you put items in, with block, blocks in, if there's more than one, as long as you have all the right ones. My self-targeting spell is now super jump slash feather fall. This is better demonstrated in survival mode. If I cast it while standing on the ground, I get launched into the air. If I cast it while in the air, I take no falling damage. Let me illustrate that a little better. So, self-targeting spells are casted with feathers. Um, the next type of spell is short-range entity targeting. I will show you Flusrida. Which costs one soul sand. So, as 
you can see, my short range and targeting spell is now Fusroda. Short range and T targeting spells are casted with a wooden sword. And you, you right click entity, and you have to do it within a few blocks or it doesn't work. That did not destroy the pig. It got blown back over here. You can also do it from the left, which is always fun. You can't tell, but it got blasted into the sky. Although that does have the tendency to making mobs aggressive. Or, at least the explosion doesn't do any damage, since it's power zero. Fourth type of spell, long range entity targeting. This one costs two old ore, one iron ore. Again, they don't have to be in this order, I just think it looks nicer that way. As you can see, my long range entity targeting spell is now Fisher. Long range entity targeting spells are casted with a snowball. You just hit the mob you want to target, or entity. And this is Fisher. It's especially fun to use on giants. That's about it. Hope you enjoy using this plane. And that's pretty much it. Bye.